Hi there and welcome to another Stellaris Dev Diary number 81, Machine Uprisings. This is about the version of AI Crisis in Synthetic Dawn. So um, what does it bring us? It is about machines taking over, how they take over, and that you can take over yourself as a machine. So uh, let's see in the details what it is about. So first, the backstory of all non-rogue non -rogue servitor machine empires involve them rising up against their creators. So um, they could also form after the start of the game the machine empires as the result of organic empires becoming increasingly reliant on robots, as the backstories of all the new possible machine empires are. So. Um, when can it happen? In an empire that makes heavy use of robotic pops has researched positronic AI technology, which replaces the old sentient AI technology and becomes increasingly more likely to happen after in researching additional AI-related related techs such as synthetic workers and sentient combat computers. And the chance is Change by which policy you have in place for sapient AIs, the ban policy, making the uprising much less likely to happen, and the citizen rights policy, preventing it from happening at all. So, um, there's that. So, if you want to be safe, give them citizen rights. If you want to be relatively safe, ban them. Ban them. But banning them, hmm. I don't know. I don't know. Um, either go all the way or go no way. Probably, if you if you at least if you go for go gameplay, if you go for stories, this is gold in any way, in any way. So um, there will be warning signs: robots behaving erratically, not following their programming or defying their owners. So you will get at least one warning sign, and then if you take an action to like to try and stop it like disassembling your synths or your robots then it might that might be the trigger for the ai uprising once the warning is there that can happen at any time especially if you try something like <laughs> um yeah evading it like by disassembling so Let's let's look at the event. What there's a strange event, computational overclocking. It's I call it the Ryzen event because it's so uh, close to the to the self overclocking of the Ryzen processor. Our scientists report a recent unexpected rise in CPU clock cycles in several of our research dedicated supercomputer clusters. Oddly enough, initial attempts at reducing clock frequency in affected units have proven unsuccessful, it has been posited. The spike in computational power could be used to improve our research capabilities. However, this would also necessitate a modest increase to CPU energy requirements. And what this means, what this gives you, is a choice between like units that are not prone to mal malfunction, that are very stable, or units that maybe have a higher risk at malfunction but are just better. So, um, what these ev events do is also like preform the empire that might be created out of the uprising, similar to how you can treat uplifted species. There's also a series of events there, and whatever you choose um, makes their ethics, and whatever you choose here. Doesn't make or it maybe makes their ethics too, but it ma mainly makes uh, their traits. So once the uprising happens, the robots will create a new independent machine empire and seize a number of worlds, about half probably, from that event down there, and go to war with their former organic masters. With and they spawn a fleet, of course. <laughs> So, if the empire in which the rebellion is happening controlled by a human player, the player will be given that option here. 
Stay at the helm of your empire and attempt to subdue the machines or switch to the newly created machine empire and fight against the old masters. War can only end in the total defeat of either machines or organics with a loser completely annexed by the winner. The machine empire created from an uprising will usually be a so-called normal machine empire or more rarely driven assimilators, but machines that have been particularly cruelly treated by their former masters can rise up as determined exterminators, particularly if they rebel as a result of an attempt to shut them down or disassemble them. And uh, similar to that, rogue servitors cannot be generated as a personality for the uprising, as their backstory simply does not fit with such a rebellion. There would be rather an event um, like of the former masters giving, like having the option of giving power over to them that might be added there. So let's look at the machine uprising event. The anomalies observed across our information networks, computational engines and synthetic workers have finally come to a violent head. Panic reports indicate that almost half of the Lacan mechanists fell to the machine uprising before protective bulkheads, physical and virtual, slammed shut. War is not only inevitable, it is already upon us. So then we fight, you fight against the machine uprising or it is too late for you organics. Frishak, rise up as the Tekaurus interface machine uprising and fight to overthrow the Lacan mechanists. So that's that's pretty great. I think that's really cool to add that in that way. So we have another way of creating problems for us or creating opportunities. And so next week will be about music from Andreas Waldertoft. I've heard, I've heard from, from a post of someone who has heard, so with a bit of caution that there are also three new tracks in the in the new story pack very nice so he was right i think it, it was someone from from reddit i have to check again it was a very curious post and uh, yeah i was very interested in that because i love the music music of andreas waldertoft so there's something else too um there are still slots open for the great like community ai galaxy that I'm creating for the new Let's Role Play. You can create an empire of whatever you like, a cool backstory to it. You should paste it in text and uh, then link me like the end screen and the biography and everything you'd like me to know. And you'll be integrated into, or your empire will be integrated into the new Let's Role Play. There's already about 50 empires with <laughs> it is possible with a massive galaxies mod and uh, yeah I'd be totally happy if, if you join if you're interested and if you have fun in creating uh, great empires with great backstories I'd be happy to have you in there will also be a video showing all the participants and uh, later on of course we'll meet them in game and we'll hear, hear a bit of flavor then to it that is why I'd love it for it to have a backstory. So if you like that, if you like the regular Stellaris news posts, just subscribe to the channel. It should be down here or down in down in one of the in one of the edges. In either in the first in the right one, then in the left one, and yeah, there'll be all kinds of things coming about Stellaris in the future. If when the new uh, when the new story pack comes out, there will be. <laughs> a lot and also an, another new let's role play at least on hard maybe on insane too but only when i'm insane until then so thank you for watching happy gaming to you this is Immanuel Khan signing out